altered to bring awareness to the deadly opioid crisis. The city has now removed the addition to the sign, but not before it attracted a ton of attention and reignited the conversation. Not exactly the welcome drivers might have expected to see as they entered Toronto. A sign altered to say, Welcome to Toronto, Ontario's capital in overdose deaths. The addition written in similar colours and font, attached with zip ties. The person behind it is unknown. I think they wanted people to know that we are in an overdose crisis, that we have some of the highest deaths in Ontario and this crisis is just continuing. It's estimated 50 to 80 people are dying every week of overdoses in Ontario and a total 2,300 people will die by the end of the year. Grim numbers that have doubled since last year. That's just an extraordinarily large number of people and those people are connected to other people and yeah, the grief and trauma of losing people is pretty intense. It's been intense. The opioid crisis exacerbated by COVID-19. Many services like addiction treatment, detox beds and supervised consumption sites had temporarily closed. Housing also a major factor. Last year, 20% of people who died of overdose were homeless. I think it has uh, been something that the spotlight has not been on uh, the way it should in the context of the tragic and preventable loss of life we've seen in, in a, on a scale that is, is uh, you know, beyond almost anything else except perhaps the COVID-19 itself. Today, city staff removed the sign and at least two others where the same message had been added. Oh, while this isn't necessarily the single best way to draw attention to this, it, it is something that's got us talking about it. The city says a significant harm reduction program is being implemented, but more support is needed from the province. There's no question COVID-19 has uh, been an almost all-consuming challenge for us to deal with. But that doesn't mean that we're not paying attention to other challenges, the opioid overdose crisis in our city being a key one amongst them. Tonight at 11, we speak with City Councillor Joe Cressy. He's also the chair of Toronto's Board of Health, and he is calling on the province to step up its efforts in addressing this issue. We'll also have a response from the Ministry of Health. A somber procession this morning as a fallen Ontario provincial police officer was taken to his final resting place. A hearse carrying the